Welcome to Lee Springs Training Program. This program will cover various aspects related to spring principles and design. In this series, we will cover the Redux Wave Spring. In this module of our series, you will learn about what is a Redux Wave Spring, advantages of using a Redux Wave Spring, design characteristics of a Redux Wave Spring, and Redux Wave Spring design considerations. Let's begin with the question, what is a redux wave spring? Basically, a redux wave spring operates like a normal compression spring, but is made of a flat wire rather than a round wire. The flat wire is more efficient use of material versus a standard round wire configuration and can be stressed higher than a standard round wire material. The wire used is a single strand of pre-tempered wire. The main advantage of a redux wave spring is the reduced operating height the spring allows. Using a redux wave spring can save 30 to 50 percent of the compressed height versus a standard round wire compression spring. An additional benefit is a weight savings benefit. The redux wave spring is lighter than a comparable round wire compression spring, and the weight savings can be as much as 50 percent. The load deflection is also similar to that of a similar standard round wire compression spring. A redux wave spring basically consists of coiled flat wire that is made with a series of waves which provide the spring effect. Each spring consists of multiple turns and also multiple waves. As the spring is compressed, the flat wire and waves compress down to a considerably lower compressed height versus a comparable round wire compression spring. Lee Spring manufactures a stock line of redux wave springs from 17-7 stainless steel, which is passivated to improve corrosion resistance. This material can be subjected to temperatures up to 650 degrees Fahrenheit or 340 Celsius without loss of spring properties. A stock redux wave spring has similar magnetism as a high carbon steel spring. Custom redux wave springs are also available in various materials to meet any unique applications. Now we will cover some of the design considerations when using a redux wave spring. The primary areas to consider are the free height and working height at which load is applied, the inside and outside diameters, the load, and material choices available. If a design requires a unique material, consult with a Lee Springs engineer for assistance in selecting the right materials. When determining the radial wall thickness required, keep in mind that the general rule is for a minimum radial wall thickness to be at least three times the thickness of the wire. The maximum radial wall thickness should not exceed ten times thickness of the wire. Redux wave springs will require a minimum of two turns or coils. Additionally, the turns must be in half turn increments and be crest to crest. When designing with redux wave springs, it is important to ensure that the free length is not too long. The spring will lose stability if the length is excessive. When determining the compressed height, it is best that the spring not be compressed to solid height where the waves of the spring are compressed against each other. It is important that the spring not be subjected to too much stress. The amount of allowable stress varies depending on application. If the spring is used in a static application, meaning compressed and held compressed, the stress at working height should be less than 100%. If the spring will be used in a dynamic application, meaning the spring will be compressed and extended in cycles, then it is suggested that the percentage of stress at the working height stay below 80 percent. Exceeding these limits can lead to the spring taking a set. There are different end designs available. The end can be what is known as a plane design, where the ends are wavy, similar to the body of a spring, or the ends can be a flat or shim design, the flat or shim design has a flat turn at the final coil, which is designed flat for a flat mating surface. No matter what type of spring you are looking for, think Lee Spring whether you need stock, custom, 
small, or large quantities. Always remember that we have engineers to help you with selecting the right spring for your application. If you would like to learn more, visit our Spring Knowledge Sessions, refer to our catalog, visit us online at www.leespring.com, or call us at 888-SPRINGS, that's 888-SPRINGS.